In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the shortcut rule in an equilibrium problem using an ice table. So the shortcut rule applies if 100 times K, your equilibrium constant, is less than your initial reactant concentrations. So think about what this means. If we can multiply 100 times our K and it's still less than our initial reactant concentrations, we must have a pretty small K, at least relative to our initial reactant concentrations. So think about what K actually means. It's the concentration of our products over the concentration of our reactants in general. So if we have a very small K and the shortcut rule applies, that means our reactants are very big in concentration and our products are very small in concentration. Those are the two ways that you can create a small K. So if we have very little products and a lot of reactants, that means our reaction is reactant favored, right? Almost none of our reactants are going to be turning into products. We're all going to be concentrated over here at the reactants and just a few reactants are going to trickle over and turn into products. So let's look at an example here to see if the shortcut rule applies. So I have an example reaction, 2A plus B is in equilibrium with C. And I'm going to tell you the K or the equilibrium constant for this reaction is 1.5 times 10 to the negative 4. And you can see I've already filled out the ice table here. In the I row, you can see the initial concentrations of each chemical. A started out at 2 molar, B started out at 3 molar, and C started out with zero molar concentration. So to test if the shortcut rule applies, we already have all the information we need. We just need to test this. So our initial reactant concentrations are two molar and three molar. So I had to test both. I said, is 100 times my K less than two? And is 100 times my K less than three? Well, of course it is. And if it's less than two, it's also gonna be less than three. And if you can't see that, you can go ahead and type 100 times 1.5 times 10 to the negative four into a calculator, and you'll see it's still much smaller than two. So that means our shortcut rule applies here. So let me show you what that means. So again, in our C row, we're gonna have negative X terms for our reactants and positive X terms for our products. And since we have a coefficient of two here, it's gonna be minus two X, Coefficient of one here, it's gonna be minus x. Coefficient of one here, it's gonna be plus one x. So when the shortcut rule applies, what it means is that we can actually ignore the C row for our reactants. In other words, when we add our I row and our C row together to get our equilibrium row, we can ignore these minus x's. So I can just completely forget about these. So you may start out this problem using the minus x's, the change row for the reactants, and it would look like this. You could set up your k, and it would be concentration of C over concentration of A squared times the concentration of B, and you would have concentration of x for your C, two minus two x squared for your A, and three minus x for your B, but again, we don't need to worry about this and this, so just forget about them. So I went ahead and rewrote the proper K expression right here. 1.5 times 10 to the negative four equals X over two squared times three. See how much that simplifies our expression? It makes it a lot easier to solve algebraically. So with a little bit of rearrangement, you'll see that two squared times three is 12. Bring the 12 over here by multiplying it by both sides and you get X equals 0 0.0018. So that means the X in our equilibrium row is worth 0 0.0018. So our final concentration of C here would be 0 0.0018 molar. So let's look at what the final concentrations of our chemical species would be using the shortcut and without using the shortcut. So when we do use the shortcut, you can see that this minus two X and this minus X are no longer relevant, they don't apply. So our equilibrium concentrations of A and B are gonna stay at two and three molar respectively. And of course we obtained our equilibrium concentration of C to be 0 0.0018 molar. Without the shortcut, however, if we had kept this minus two X and this minus X here, we would have subtracted very small numbers from the two and the three. And they would have shifted down very slightly from two to 1.9964 molar and from three to 2.9982 molar. So you can see that again, when we have a very small K, it means that so little 
of our reactants are going into products, the reaction is so reactant favored that we don't have to consider these X's because look how small of a difference they made and look how much easier it made it to solve this equation. So this is when you can use the shortcut rule, when 100 times K is less than the initial reactant concentrations. So I really hope this video helped you guys out and I'll see you in the next one.